Hello everyone, I'm Barb Owen of HowToGetCreative.com and today we're going to talk about water brushes. What is a water brush? If you don't have one, I bet you're going to want one after this. Water brushes are hollow tubes. So it's a plastic barrel, it's a hollow tube uh, container and it will allow you to take it apart and put water or some other very liquidy material right in the barrel and then you can put it back together take the cap off and just start painting and in the case of painting with water why would you want to do that well you want to do that because maybe you're working with watercolor in this case I have just some shapes on here in uh, Neocolor 2 this is a water soluble crayon and I would just simply uncap my water brush. So take the lid off. The water starts flowing very easily and the more you pay for your brush, the better the quality of the brush. So you can see I've just colored the Neo Color down here on the surface and the water is dispensing very evenly out of the brush liquefying the pigment. It's a very fast and easy way to liquefy your watercolor. So you could paint from a set of watercolors or you could paint um, using water soluble products like the Neocolor 2's. Another thing you could do with these is to use ink tense, pen, or ink tense blocks and you can pick up the pigment straight from the ink tense blocks and let's say we want to add this color up here. So I'm pulling the pigment directly from the block. And adding it to my flower or whatever it is that I'm working on. So you can paint straight from the block or from a pan of watercolor or whatever you'd like to use. It's a great way to work with your materials, especially it's a great way to do it if you're on the go. So if you like to have an art kit and take it with you and paint or color or um, create art when you're away from your art supplies and away from your creative space, it's a great thing. It's a great way to do it, to have a water brush and some color some water soluble color or pigment of some kind. Now I talked to you about the fact that there are different kinds of brushes. So there are these very inexpensive brushes. These cost very little, but they're not particularly um, predictable, shall we say. They can do some unexpected things sometimes. However, the price makes them very attractive for doing things like playing around with ink. So this one had ink in it at some point that I was just playing with. These are a great tool. This particular water brush is a great tool to just play around with because you don't have a big investment in it. Another thing you can do is add um, glue into it. So this is a matte medium and water that I put in here. And so this allows me to use the matte medium and water and I can use that to liquefy the paint, the water soluble paint like the Neo Color 2 crayon. And guess what? When it's done, when this dries, that's not going to rehydrate. And so that's a fun thing, a fun way to play around with that. Now, let me tell you, these bristles, you need to be rinsed out right away because this has glue in there. So you need to rinse these bristles right away and store the brush on the end when you're doing something like this because that glue is going to harden. The matte medium will harden inside the bristles and make it hard as a rock and that's not what you're after. So those are the brushes I would play with, the inexpensive brushes. This is a, a Niji brand brush. This has a valve inside of it and so this dispenses water very evenly which is one of the things that's really nice about this. The thing I don't care for so much about this is the barrel is round and so they tend to roll around on my desk. But it's a very nice brush and they come in different tip sizes. 
This is probably my favorite water brush. This is the Pentel Aquash water brush. And this you can get these singly or you can get them as a set of three. So I'll show you the different tips. Each comes with its uh, own little cover. And there are three different tip sizes. So this is a tiny one. This is the baby bear, the mama bear, and the papa bear. And the thing that's great about these is the barrel is flat. So when you put it on your desk, it doesn't roll around unless you force it to roll around. But and the it has a valve in the brush assembly and so it dispenses water very evenly. I just thoroughly enjoy the Pentel Aquash brush. I am very impressed with it. And this is one of the Ranger brushes. One of the cool things about this is that it has a big wide tip. Big wide brush. So you can pick up a lot of pigment. So let's say you want to pick up a lot of this blue and put down a background very, very quickly. So you see what you can do? You can do it so fast because of the size of the brush. So there's a great place for this brush in your arsenal of, of water brushes as well. To clean out the water brush, just squeeze it and rub it across a towel or a paper towel of some kind and be sure when you put the lid back on the brush bristle on the brush that the uh, bristles are not caught and bent backwards you do have to be careful about that and then i store all my water brushes with the lid up and that is what is a water brush you know what it is it's a tool you need to have in your creative space. In fact, you need a bunch of water brushes because you need to take them with you wherever you go because <laughs> you just never know when you're going to need them for something, especially if you like going out and, and sketching and painting on the go. It's a great tool to have. I cannot recommend having a water brush enough or two or three or ten. I don't know how many I have. I've lost track. I love them. So I highly recommend that you have them. Okay, if you enjoy what I do, please come on over to howtogetcreative.com. I'd love for you to come over and check us out. It's a membership website. We have all kinds of classes. We have all kinds of membership levels for everybody. And there's surely something there to suit you. There are all kinds of creative arts videos that cover a wide variety of topics. And we would love to have you come over and check us out. I'm Barb Owen of howtogetcreative.com. Remember to get creative today because you know it's easy. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.